Hi, my name is Murdo. I'm the chair and co-founder of the Copperquid Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. The CWRC is a nonprofit registered charity dedicated to providing veterinary care and rehabilitation to sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife so that they may be returned to the wild. We see many animals at the CWRC, everything from hummingbirds to bald eagles, squirrels to foxes. We have a special interest in large raptors, such as red-tailed hawks, great horned owls, osprey, and bald eagles. In fact, bald eagles are the most commonly admitted animal at the CWRC. Bald eagles are brought to our center for three main reasons. They are often hit by vehicles while scavenging roadkill at the side of the highway. They are often the victim of lead poisoning, and they frequently collide with power lines and suffer electrocution. A bald eagle's wingspan can be up to eight feet. That is a very large bird. Caring for and handling of these large, magnificent creatures requires some special consideration. Depending on how injured or ill they are, they may be housed in a small three foot by three foot enclosure, or they may be placed in something larger if they are reconditioning their muscles to fly again. Our current facilities limit our ability to prepare eagles and other large raptors for flight. We can adapt by creance training the birds. Creance training is tethering the birds to a long cord or rope through leather straps called jesses attached to their legs. Birds are released in a large open field and allowed to fly the length of their tether before being reeled in. Though this is an effective method, it is not ideal because it means a lot of handling with the birds which is stressful for both them and us. Our goal is to build a facility that meets the needs of bald eagles and other large raptors. The design provides the birds with a virtually unlimited flyway as it is basically an enclosed oval. The bird can fly continuously until it tires or needs to rest. There is limited stress as the animal will not be handled by us until it is time for release. The central core of the building we propose can house additional animals that still require some restricted movement. They can recuperate here until they are strong enough for the oval. We have been fundraising for this facility for nearly four years through private donations, benefit concerts, and silent auctions. We are about a third of the way to our goal. Our hope is that this great funding opportunity through Indiegogo will help get us even closer. The center is run in our spare time through volunteers such as myself, Helene, and others. Looking after these animals is a passion. They have no owners and have no one to speak on their behalf. The majority of our patients are the outcome of an unfortunate interaction with people. We strive to help the animals recover from that interaction through medical treatment, rehabilitation, and through our wildlife awareness education activities. If you can support our initiative through a donation, we would be very grateful. A dollar donated today is a dollar we didn't have yesterday. All of our funding is through generous donations like yours. Thank you for your consideration.